Hun, can you let me know for, when I'm on Facebook? Okay, we're on Facebook. I'm gonna start getting feedback here real soon. So I'm gonna cancel this out. Perfect. Welcome everyone, Shredders Unite, Thursday night, our business call. Um, man, June 30th, it, we're going into July, the July 4th weekend. I know that this is summertime, this is high time. We're not expecting a lot of people necessarily on Zoom, but I am gonna be beaming this into our ER Shred community, as well as to, of course, our business site, Shredders Unite. Um, and here's the thing is that if you are ever interested in learning how to share your story, how to pay it forward, how to build community, um, this is the place to be. And what I would invite you to do is make sure you join Shredders Unite, which is our sister group to our ER Shred community. Um, that said, I want to get started right away and be respectful of everyone's time. My special guest is my good friend, Tony Trowbridge. And Tony has been one of the more amazing people, I would say, in our community. Oops, what did I just do? Um, there you come back. In our community, in that he's been very, very active almost from the very beginning. And he's one of our, without question, one of our shred warriors. Um, Tony, welcome. Are you there? Thank you. Can you hear me? Thank you, Roberto. Good to see awesome. you. Yeah. So I'm, I'm the jealous, way I'm I... jealous of that shirt. I need one of those. Oh, I got one of these. This is the old color scheme. Of course, we're going with a new kind yeah. of the red and so on, but this is one of the originals. But given that I live in Chicago and I remember when I got this originally, um, there's only like maybe about six weeks that I could even wear something like this. So I got it. It's 90 here in Chicago. So I got it. I definitely got to take advantage of it. It's a little warm in the house. Um, but Tony, the way I love to start these things out, I know everybody knows you, but I think it's always nice to know your backstory. How did you get introduced? So why don't you just start off? How did you learn first about ER Shred or even Isogenics? When did you first come to this program? This amazing program. I was introduced by uh, Michael Lieberman. Uh, I was searching for a program. I heard it when I was down in Missouri, roughly about eight years ago. And I was getting ready for a vacation. We were off to um, Jamaica. And I said, you know, I guess I'll lose some weight. And a friend told me about isogenics. So I started exploring it on, online. And I don't know how I ran into or heard about Michael. But it seemed to be a good fit. So I had a conversation with Michael. Can I explain the program, the nutrition, the shakes? And uh, a friend in Missouri had mentioned it had done a lot for, for him. So, so I got to I, I gotta ask you, this is bizarre. Uh -oh. Yeah. So no, I mean, this is interesting because it's also maybe yeah. a, a lesson since we're talking, this is a business call, but it's all about communication yeah. and so on. So sure. this is a friend of yours that you knew in Missouri that shared with you about isogenics. Was, right. was he not active with sharing or building a business or was he just telling you, hey, this just worked no. for me? Okay. It had worked for him a couple of times. He had okay. done a start stop. And okay. I was looking for something nutritional based, protein based. I love working out, as you'll see by my posts, and that seemed to support uh, a lot of things I was looking for. So I tried it for a couple of months, and I think I lost about 20 pounds before going down to the islands. And it was easy to stick to. Plus, I really liked the the uh, the community of Isogenics. It was very motivating. Okay. The stories, the positivity. Uh, what, but what year was this? Lot, this was probably 2015, 2014, okay. roughly. So for everybody that does a lot of social media out there, I'm kind of curious. You went and Googled Isogenics and started researching it. You came across Michael, I'm assuming, on social media, on Facebook or his posts? I did, on Facebook. Okay. Yep. What was it? This is, you, you, you're you challenging remember. my memory now. I get you're, it. you're challenging my memory. But what was it? Do you remember what it was about Michael that drew you in? Or why did you think he was the right fit? I mean, I feel honored because well, I think it's great. Well, but. well, like like you, Bob, I'm I'm not a young guy. You know, I, I you're probably younger than I am, but I, I was looking for somebody about my age group, looking to lose about 40, 50. Michael was a, a past accountant, really had come alive. I'll use this term because I'm an ER shredder now, but it was not a term mm -hmm. in isogenics. And he really had a life-changing experience and had been doing it for three or four years, which meant a lot to me. He had gone from 220-something down to about 170, 180. 
uh, we had a personal connection once we connected uh, on the phone. Mm-hmm. And I really liked what, you know, his progression made sense to me. It wasn't like a miracle pill. It wasn't Weight Watchers. It wasn't, you know, buy the canned food. Um, so there was a lot of things that connected real quickly for me. Uh, Michael is a, is a superstar. You know, he went on to do, I think, the big challenge and came in second, mm-hmm. third, or fourth back several years ago. And I know he's a good friend of yours and Allie's. So it, it just kind of came together. And when I came back from the islands, though, I was tan and happy. And all of a sudden, two weeks later, I gained back five and then 12. And within about three weeks, I was back to my 240 pounds. <laughs> so it, it was something that I did. I enjoyed it. So what this evolution here. I, I got serious about it again. I realized, you know, this was probably wintertime. So by summertime, I kicked into isogenics full time. And I did it for about two and a half years. And I loved it. It was very easy. The shakes were tasty. Uh, I could have a meal on my own, meaning develop, you know, whatever you do. A nice salad or a steak or, you know, it wasn't the ER shred protocol. So let's mm-hmm. not be very clear about that. But it was very easy to stick with, and I lost about 45 pounds. I think it went about 251 down to about 2, 205, 207, maybe not that much. Mm-hmm. But I was amazed how healthy I felt. Without working out very much, the muscle mass came on so quickly. I leaned out quickly. I remember going on the diet or the program, and I felt horrible. I mean, I was depressed. And that was Sunday night. I told my girlfriend at the time, I'm um, making a change. I'm going to just go hard at it. By Wednesday, I felt good. By Thursday, I felt really good. And by Friday, I was back to leaping tall buildings. I mean, literally from a five-day period, from feeling like, you know, you just can't feel any worse. And by Friday, I was energized. I was sleeping well, but only about five, six hours. I probably lost already... 10 pounds in a week and it was easy to stick to so those this are is this is this is the original this is a traditional system right correct this was okay so yeah. um this goes back wanna, about seven eight years ago i just want to give anybody who is watching this we got to throw in our disclaimers i've got them posted on our facebook posts um but yes this is going to be your story we don't we're not here to cure prevent or diagnose any diseases your weight loss right. story is your journey. We're all unique and different. And on the same side, if any mention of money is made, again, that's going to be independent of the individual, their skill set, what they bring in, their understanding of the business and so on. We are part of the business of uh, network marketing, at least what I refer to as our partner company, which is Isogenics. So life gets in the way for all of us. We run into the pandemic, whatever you want to call it, legally. <laughs> um the other thing is, is that a lot of us kind of fell off. So tell me, how was it? And how did you get introduced to ER Shred? Uh, very similar story. I had reached the point back at December 2021, where, again, I had reached a weight of approaching 250, which was one of my highs in my life. I've always seemed to be a heavy guy, always here an extra 20, 30, 40 pounds. And so starting January 3rd, I said, okay, again, enough is enough. Get my life back in control. I'm turning 63, which I just did about uh, three weeks ago. And I said, I really have to take this part of my life and change. Uh, I have a wonderful woman in my life, Cynthia, wonderful career, wonderful family. But really, when I looked at myself, I was unhealthy. I was diagnosed with very high blood pressure about four months ago, 225 over 125. Doctor was about to rush me into the ER at that point. And he said, you got a couple of choices here, buddy. You know, you can either suffer a stroke or heart attack or get better. And some of that, and a lot of that's controlled diet. Uh, and I'll put you on some medicine right away. Uh, so the first three months I did it on my own. I'll be very direct. I did it on my own. I was eating salads, drinking a lot of water, hitting the road, running, uh, exercise, uh, gym. But you know the funny thing about Bob was, I, even though I was losing weight, I lost 30 pounds in three months, I didn't feel great. I, I didn't feel energized. I felt depleted. I was starving. Uh, wasn't happy. Uh, the weight was coming off, but I still felt flabby. And I said, you know, to really continue here, 
you know, those nights where you wake up at two in the morning and you go, aha, I know what I need. I'm going to call Michael. I'm going to get in touch with Michael and see what is up with isogenics. It's been a number of years. That's when he lit me up. He lit me up. He said, Tony, I have something to talk to you about. It's called ER Shred, and you are built for this. You are an old isogenics guy. We loved having you back then. Uh, come back, but experience this. I want to get you on a call with you remember Bob. And I go, oh, yeah, I, I, I love Bob and Allie. So I said, okay, put me on the phone with Bob. And I remember that call very distinctly. Bob, you shared your story with me, and I said, and I, I thought you were lean and mean at 205 or 208 or 210, and you told me you were at 88 or 187. I went, no way. And you shared pictures with me, your story, and uh, like a fish, I, I got the I got the hook in my mouth, and I went, okay, 11 days. Anybody can do 11 days. 11 days is a is a blink. So I was signed up, got back on Isogenics, got my shipment. You filled me up with the information, the site, the guide, the site. Uh, kept in touch with Michael, of course. And I couldn't wait to start. I was ready. I was ready. Um, a lot of people know my journey. Uh, once I got the ER shred, I, I like to share. I think it's very motivating to hear. Don, I love seeing you out there. My brother, I see you in the gym every day. Allie, you know, I, I feel like this is family. I mean, truly, this is family. I know people where they live, what they do, and it's just a wonderful community. I think it was day six or seven, and I've been hearing Sean, you, Michael, Ali, Don talk about coming alive. I had no idea what that was. I, I, you, you guys talk about it. You can smoke the pipe. You can, you know, the elixir. <laughs> but on day six or seven, it was a lightning bolt. My energy level literally was off the chart. My mental sharpness, I felt like I was a master chess player. I knew it was happening every day, and I was six, seven, eight steps ahead of everybody else. Um, I'd lost eight or nine pounds by that. And not just the weight, it was the leanness. I mean, I just felt my body just took the fat and just pushed it out of my body and just kind of shrunk a size within, you know, a week. Um, the community, again, is, is I think, the secret sauce of ER Shred. I really, I think that's the that's the heartbeat of this community and, and seeing everybody's stories and, and how they're doing and where their struggles are, you learn. And I wasn't there yet. I was more still mindset of losing weight. And I've learned uh, much differently uh, at this point over the last three months. So 11 days, man, I shot out of the cannon. I was, you know, my girlfriend just said, slow down, dude. You're like running through the, the place. And I said, I, you can't stop me. You got to catch me. You got to come catch me. Um, so that's really the essence of it. You know, Bob, Bob, you were a huge help. I got to talk to Jesse. Jesse was so nice. He called me and we talked before I started the program and gave me some inside scoop. Uh, we stayed friends ever since, Sean. So it, it really is a very unique program. And you have to, you have to experience it. You know, we can all okay. tout it and ring the bell, but when you come alive, which the newbie is starting in three or four days from now, July 4th, it's going to be so fun to see these people within a week just light up like a firecracker. And just, and we do want to remind people, I mean, I know that some people come alive sooner than others. It's a journey. You ultimately will arrive there if you stick with it. But yeah, there's nothing, it's second to none, feeling shot out of a can and going, oh my gosh, I got my, I thought I was right. eight out of 10. Now I'm like a 19 out of a 20 in terms of how I feel. Um, I do want to point out something that obviously it's, uh, I'm on a, balancing thing um it's it's like it happened to me i thought like michael i go man i want to get cut and i was doing our traditional program and so i hired somebody that was part of the isobody challenge at one time and did a macro program and got and i followed it to a t it just wasn't the right thing for me and as a result oh you're putting muscle mass on well, i ballooned up to like 230 that was that picture you saw of me probably 2017 18 <laughs> right um i got back to our traditional program hit it really hard all the way through 2020 got down to my lower end of my range which is 210 to 215 is kind of where i just kind of settled out at never could break it mm -hmm. until in october when i did do the er shred then again same thing it's a total different journey expectation etc one of the things that you mentioned is that you lost the weight initially on the traditional system 
and you felt great, but you put it back on again. Was it because you just got off the program? What what happened? Do you feel? Oh yeah, I I, I nixed the whole thing, Bob. I was back to popcorn and you know gas station candy bars and you know Red Bulls and you know ice cream at night. So you know that's uh, yeah. If I could take weight off as fast as I gain it, I'd be 100 pounds by tomorrow. You know, it, it just when you're when you're eating junk and you're not even seeing what's coming in your mouth uh, because I use it for pleasure, whether I'm you know depressed or happy, it's you know that was my 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 thing. But uh, so yeah, you know, when you fall off, you fall off. Um, and you bring up an interesting topic because, and I I think you and I talked about this, Bob. Um, you know, I'm not perfect on this program. I've been on it for 120 days, 130 days, and you know, went to Hawaii and I've had my, my time. But what's interesting is when I go off, I don't gain that much weight, whether it be a day or two. Um, I'm still in the gym, but the impact on my body is so negative that I have to get back on it to feel good. I mean, when I have that one or two days of not binging, but just, you know, not having my steak or my seafood or whatever, my, my body reacts to that, um, that, the food. So, for example, going to Hawaii, we had a great time. I was ready. I loved taking my shirt off. I lost another 11, 12 pounds with ER shred, got down to just about 200. And I started about 250. And within a couple of days, I realized, you know, that beverage last night, um, the dessert at, at midnight at the hula bar, it just wasn't for five seconds. It tasted good. And for 36 hours, my body hated it. And so there was a day, I think it was like third or fourth day. I got back on just strictly ER shred. I steak. I did a grass fed burger. And by that evening, I felt really great. So we, we, it, it we, goes, do, goes, all, we do all about. fall off, but I want to ask you, since you've seen done it both ways, um, yeah. do you notice a level of awareness that you have today? Do you notice a, dis a difference between when you're doing the traditional and falling off versus doing ER shred and falling off as far as how your body reacts? Yeah, very much, very much. I, th I think I can only speak for myself, but my journey has been one of desire for weight loss, got it, realized that's not, that's not what I'm about now. I'm about living my best life, keep my my body healthy, wellness, fitness, putting the right fuel in my body. Before, is it, if it could make me lose weight, I'll drink it, eat it, stuff it in my ear. You know, I would do it. Now it's all about the right food that I want to digest, so I can live a really great day ahead. Mm -hmm. So when I get up in the morning and have my shake and lots of water and uh, my ionics and when I don't do that, it's the the opposite test. You know, it's, it's the positive test and the negative test, and people have to go through that. So uh, don't don't beat yourself up too badly for it because it's a learning process, and that's what's going to keep this program sustainable for me. I can't speak for others, but I think when others come alive, stick with it for 30 days, you know, you'll you'll realize how good this program is because your mind shifts to, I don't want to lose this feeling. Where before I lost 10 pounds, let's try to keep 10 pounds off and let's go for 20. Now it's, I don't want to lose that love and feeling. I mean, it's like the song. I don't want to lose that love and feeling because the days I don't feel good, it's like, wait a second, I'm in Hawaii. I should be living my best life like right now. I'm going, my body doesn't feel that great. I need to get back. To my my family <laughs> and i think you know so, for those that are because i i am broadcasting this on my page good or bad i might have no friends left except for my ear shred family uh, but it's okay but for those that might be listening or hearing about this um this is a system that is unique it's different than what we did in the past but i know when sean initially was conceptually taught we, we talked forever but we looked at 18 19 20 years of what went right and what went bad and why did it go bad and if we could go back and recreate the magic, what would we do differently? And, you know, you bring up a, a, a good point here, and that is this time around, it is unique. And it's unique to any program I've ever seen. If you want to call it a diet, if you want to call it a weight loss program or any type of system, 
We literally tell people run on the tracks for 11 days, get to a baseline. You decide after that. It's totally 100% up to you. And as Sean said, it's all about failing forward. So it's experiential learning in the process, your journey, not my journey. And it's not do this, don't do that. And the result of this, I mean, in my opinion, is, is it was genius. I'm thinking, oh my God, this is really cool because people are literally figuring it out for themselves. And as a result, mm -hmm. they're sticking. They're having that new level. As you said, it's, a, it's all about awareness, a, aware of how am I feeding myself? How am I feeling myself? And when I do go off, why did I do that? And does that serve me? And that's kind of like where yeah. I'm at. So even in my situation where I thought I was 90% good, 10% bad, maybe 95, five, um, the little things like having a beer now and then, or having a drink here or there, except Mexico, my wife is watching. So I know mm -hmm. that in Mexico, I've kind of gone <laughs> way off. Um, but that said, I just started just looking at myself, like, why did I just have a couple of beers or a couple of drinks by myself? I mean, it kind of feel like a, like a weirdo, right? But I, I recognized right away that I didn't feel as good. And slowly but surely, this is the only thing I've done in my life, that even for the little things, like having a beer now and then, where I used to think that I had to own that, that's like a manly, I don't know what I thought about it, like, got to have a beer, of course, got to have mm -hmm. a beer. But it's recognition that having that beer doesn't make me feel good. And why in the heck did I just put that in my body? And my wife will attest to it. I, this summer, I don't think I bought beer yet. I haven't. Last summer, I bought a six pack and it stayed in the refrigerator for about a year and a half. So the neat thing about this is that no matter where you're at, I think it up levels you to live a life, a better life based upon whatever you've come accustomed to. Um, the other thing, Tony, I want to get into is you talked about community. You mentioned the community was very important for you this go around. I know we didn't have the ER shred in the past. So specifically about our Facebook community, what, how much of a difference was that for you or what did you like about it from a new person coming in? Yeah, I'll, I'll just talk, compare and contrast. Uh, I enjoy the isogenics community. Uh, I became mm -hmm. friends with you and Ali and Michael and Avi and a lot of other uh, wonderful people, Mark and, and his wife, Jennifer. Uh, and I still remember a lot of people from seven, eight, nine years ago. Um, I think this community is offering a, a different way of being present, sharing their stories, sharing more the emotional side of it, um, asking bigger questions than just the the product side. And I think we're sharing our lives more. I, I think it more feels like family and how to live your best life versus, you know, let's go flex on Fridays. Um, and I don't mean that flippantly, but I mean it more genuinely. I mean, I think people in this community really care. Uh, they they want to see you succeed. They want you to learn. Um, and I, I, like Don, I love seeing Don every morning just busting up the gym. Um, and it, and for me, it has to be motivation. It, it, it is family. You don't want to let your family down, number one. Um, there are days where I don't feel like going to the gym or don't focus on my goals or want to learn more. And it's all right there. It's very easy to access the information from the guides, the topics, uh, turn to somebody and ask them some questions. So I think this group is more involved. I think they are more focused on living your best life than crushing it, um, which I enjoy still, but it's, it's a little different mantra. And I just, I think people on the, on the, in the community just have this loving spirit. When you come, go on a come alive call and you talk about what drives you, what are your passions, 95% of the people seem like, I'm here to help others. I want to see, I, I love seeing other people do well. And I have that mentality. So when Manaz and a few others have come alive with some support a lot from you, Bob, it's the most rewarding thing I've ever seen. And it's, and it's meaningful. I mean, I've been a sales guy and an entrepreneur all my life, and I get thrilled from that side of my life, but it, it doesn't equate to living even equal out half as rewarding as seeing something like Manaz just go from here to there within seven, eight days. So those are the big differences for me. Um, 
and, and, it, and I, like I said, it's a secret sauce for me. Uh, I'm on there three or four times a day. I get dinged. I look forward to seeing someone's post or what they might be up to. Um, and I think we're all still seeing how we can get this out there more. How can we be helpful uh, to change people, people's lives? I think isogenics to me was more about weight loss. This is more about how to live your best life. Okay. I like that. That's awesome. I know that um, obviously in any successful system like this or program, you got to have a system that works. And I think what we did is for those that are curious what's different about it, we put an elimination diet on the front end. We're using grass-fed beef, nothing else, right? You could substitute, some people use salmon or a fattier fish, but we're getting rid of vegetables and fruits and everything. And we're allowing you to get to a baseline and rebuild. We're fortifying your system with these nutrient dense super shakes. We incubate them, something brand new. I think maybe you may have come in, you were all, already incubating them. Um, no, I wasn't, that was brand new. Okay, that was new. okay, That's that new. was new to you? Yep. Okay, great. Yep. And of course we added the bone broth on cleanse days, but the key is for many is that because of the way it's designed, most people for the first time are able to get through the two day nutritional intermittent fast successfully, whereas in the past they never did. Yep. And, you know, I'm not going to take anything away from Jesse, but there is a new study that got published on this program that talks about the difference between two days versus one day. And now for those that are the science analytics that really want to get into the and geek out on that stuff, it's all there and it's published and even talking about blood pressure, it's all there, which is great. So we can talk yeah. about it, but again, your results are your own individual results and there's no guarantee for anybody else. That said, the biggest thing that kept this thing going in the beginning, that was really the part that we missed when and Sean and I were talking in the, the board in the beginning, it was the community and we lost the connectivity. And so that was going to be instrumental and very important as it turned out in, you know, and, and I think I know Jesse says this often, it's the community is, is the glue. It's the number one thing that we have that we've built and we've gone from about 16 to 17,000. Now we're, up, we're approaching 25,500, a little bit above that, just in a short period of time. And here's what's interesting. I'll give a little plug. If any of you, which is wonderful, if you're inviting people to the group, please ask them to answer the question so we know they're not some bot or a fake account that wants to get in. And, and we want to protect the community of 25,000. Get them to answer the questions. But I know that as of tonight, we have like 94 people waiting to get in. They just have to go on and answer a couple of questions and bing, you're in the group, right? But we're starting to grow, momentum's happening. And this leads us to the next thing in terms of building community and culture. It was your brain child to have this challenge. And I know you called me up and this has been in the works for a while, but why don't you, how did this come up? How did it pop in your head and why now? It was pure magic. I studied philosophy and literature and I devised this in a chemistry lab. <laughs> no, <laughs> literally three o'clock in the morning, I have a wedding coming up. My girlfriend's oldest son is getting married a week from this Saturday. And so that was about a month ago, Bob. And I, I remember talking to you about it and how excited we are. And I said, I really just want to crush it. I, I want to be like Don. I want to be in the gym for six hours every morning. <laughs> And I just said, you know, I really want to, I want to show up feeling my best, which this program provides. But I, I just want some motivation. Summertime can get tough. You know, we have a lot of things going on in our life. We do, and we're kind of crazy right now. But if I can get a few guys, if I can get Bob and Don and Michael and Jesse and Sean and a couple others, and let's just push each other. You know, we have the nutrition, we have the protocol, but let's just push each other to get the extra day in the gym or share another type of exercise, or have you ever tried this? Uh, Bob, what's your goal for the next 30 days? You know, share it with us. Let Don know. Don, I wanna know what your thing is. Sarah, Sarah, what do you wanna do? And we would just have a little fun, little mix up for 30 days. So that was the whole point. And so I got your clearance and I said, Bob, I'm gonna post this, see if anybody wants to do it. And it kind of exploded. Uh, I think there was over 60 people that wanted to do it, and I realized I can't handle that. 
I don't know how to communicate it properly. I want to get your feedback. I want to get Sean's feedback, Heather's feedback. And they said, well, let's do this. Let's make it part of our, our brand. Let's push it right into the 11 day coming up. Uh-oh. Um, so let's, let's make it coincide with the shred starting on the 11th. We have a gap between the next shred. And this is Heather and I talking a few weeks ago. And let's devise a 25-day program. And so I did. With Heather's help, I said, okay, what about we do this and this? And she goes, perfect. Because we can start off on a nutritional protocol for 11 days. We can get motivated. We can People can earn points. We'll have some free gear. And then the next 14 days will be all around fitness. It'll be around movement. It'll be about what your goal might be in that 25-day period. So it morphed. It morphed because um, we needed a better way to communicate, to message it, and make sure we're in alignment with um, with ER Shred as a community. So we're excited. We have, I think, over 60 people already signed up. We start Monday. Uh, we'll have some awards. We'll have some winners. Uh, but the main point is to motivate each other, to help each other push towards the goals. Don't get lost in summer. I know summer can be tough, um, but it, for me, it's uh, always about motivation and inspiration. That's what this is all about. I am, fun. I am beyond excited for this. And there's so much, as like Sean likes to say, there's so much depth here. But when you think about what this challenge is doing, it's helping build community. But by getting people to verbalize what their goal is, that's next level in terms of commitment. And especially if you do it in a trusted, safe place, you're now becoming accountable not only to you, but to your team. So I know what will happen. If right. I'm in this and I say I'm in, um, I'm not worried about letting myself down. I'm worried about letting you all down if I don't do it, exactly. right? So as a when result- When you have something, you make it to the world. Yep. And you, have to, you, you will follow it because you have, you're part of a group. You've announced it. You said, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go do it. And it's personal. This journey is so personal. I know what foods are working well for me. I, I know the foods that don't work well for me. Um, and, and, and that is, again, like you said, this is a very personal meeting you where you are and where you want to go. So I think this dovetails into it. And guess what? July 4th, Independence Day, freedom. Uh, what, a, what a nice little... Well, we're, we're getting that, and I have, and I, again, I, I'm excited for myself because we all get comfortable no matter where we're at, even if we're at a new level, new identity, and I'm feeling good, we kind of pause and we get comfortable and we get stuck kind of more or less. We're just in our little comfort yeah. zone, right? So this is a way oh, yeah. for us to break out within our, our friend community, if you will, our family, to push ourselves mm -hmm. outside of that comfort zone to basically, this, that's how we grow. That's how we grow in, in, in all aspects, and learn. right? And learn, right? Yeah, and share. And, and share. And I think this is the key that I saw with you and Michael three months ago is you, we, we, we take on and we learn from others and say, is that right for me or not? But if I can see a Michael or a Bob or a Don or a Jesse and go, yeah, that, that fits me well. It may come on a little different to me, but this seems to fit my lifestyle, what I want to shoot for. And then the program is so easy to stick to. Uh, I love having the meat in the morning. I love the shakes. Shakes always been incredible, but now the, the bake shake, uh, the incubate shake. Love it. Yeah. So, yeah. It's going to be fun. Well, it's going to be fun. It, Hopefully get more people to join us. It improves it. Um, you've been at this for what? How, 120 days. So four months yep. coming up. Are you yeah. are you sick and are you sick of steak yet? No way. Nope, not at all. I put that baby sometimes on for breakfast with my bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I stitch it up. I you know I love my uh, salmon, the burgers, um, and I break down. I'll I'll have you know something off my program once in a while. I think that's a little treat that I afford myself. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, that is wonderful. So, yeah. So I am. Hopefully, any, people will see it and have some questions. Please let me, me know or Heather know. And uh, countdown's here. What are you going to do, Bob? So, Bob, what is your goal? Share with us because you've been thinking about this. 
in 25 days from the 4th of July, what would be one of your number one goals? Um, I love putting him on the spot. I love putting Bob on the spot like that. I'm almost there, but I think in 25 days, I can get a defined six pack. So I don't have oh, it. Though. I hate you. So, but no, I don't have it. I've lost. I'm just telling you, because it's just a little bit of bloat, just an extra five pounds. That's just enough to just, yeah, for it to disappear. I got the obliques. I got, but I want, I want to get cut. So if I really push myself, it's going to require for me to do the full 11 day ER shred. I'm going to have to go two, five, two, and maybe another two days. Um, my diet's pretty good, but I'm going to have to up my effort in order to get there. And um, I mean, this is the challenge. So for me, it's going to be more physical. I would like to become, and this is part of it. It's selfish. But when I was talking to Sean, um, since this is a business call, um, I found it interesting that you were on social media and you found Michael and you aligned with him because you're about the same age and mm -hmm. he lost the exact same amount of weight that you were looking for and you connected, right? Um, so this is more about thinking about who is your niche. I'm not going to appeal to young mothers that want to lose baby weight. You know, that's not going to be probably the people who are going to reach out to me and ask me about the ER shred. But if I can be the best version of me at 60, and I was talking to Colin, you know, our good friend, Colin, Peter's mm -hmm. son. Yep. And I said, you know, Everybody, this is probably the first surfer. time when I turned 50, when I turned 40, it was kind of like a, oh boy, I'm 40. That was before isogenics. I find isogenics at 42. But when I even hit 50, I was like, oh my God, I'm 50 years old. I can't believe this. Luckily, this time I passed, I become 60 in December after being a shredder for about a year and I'm a little over you for 13 months. And I'm like, man, I'm proud and excited to tell people I'm 60. And I never thought I would mm -hmm. be like that. But why is it? It's because I feel that good. And as Sean told me, my objective should be to get in the very best possible shape that I can be in to be an example of what's possible at 60. Not that everybody wants to be there, but show the journey where I was and where I can be. Kind of same thing that Michael did. But again, I want to appeal to men mm -hmm. in their 50s and 60s, maybe their 40s. I'm in better shape at 60 than I was at 40, guaranteed. That's kind of fun too, when you think about it. Yeah. So for me, it is going to be yeah. more physical, but I know that this much, if I can be the best me, my energy is going to be at a higher level. I'm going to be more magnetic. I'm going to be more excited. And as a result, I'll be more attractive to others. And I know that that's the secret sauce that brings people in. So when I'm feeling my best, that's when I'm going to bring people into my world that hopefully take a look at ER Shred. It's not going to be sitting on the couch, watching golf or whatever, and, and, and just right. checking out. Right. So that's what I'm excited. You about have to, you have to, yeah, you have to be the example and I know you'll make it. I know you'll meet your, your goal. Well, be very here's sure. the thing. You got to make a big hairy goal. We talked about this yesterday with one of the Allison's groups, but when you do goal setting, the idea is you, it's just not so, Oh, I succeeded and I got there. You might as well make it a big ass hairy goal in my opinion. <laughs> because if you are 50% there, it's still going to be probably far and above what you initially expected you could achieve. And I think that's really yeah, our shoot, own. Shoot for the moon and end in the heavens. It's, yeah. it's our own limitations in that we put stops on what we think is possible and we're capping our abilities and our performance. And that's the one thing I've learned is that if you just tell God, source, the universe, I'm going to do this. I may not arrive, but I'm going to probably come a lot closer to that than I would have if I just kind of backed off and made it an achievable goal. So that's me. That's well, how that's I why, operate. Well, and that's why this community really is a secret sauce, because I can do the protocol. I can eat the food. I can go to the gym five times a week and work out for an hour. I can go walk Gracie every morning and, and have a great effect and a great result. But when I look at you, I look at so many others that are 55 plus, I'm 63. I'm probably getting in the best shape of my life, even when I was 18 or 20 or 25. And my goal is like yours in 25 days, 30 days, I want to start seeing a six pack. I want to hit 193, 195, I'm about 203 right now. So this is what, when you announce it, you have to do it. You, you really feel that 
that responsibility to go out there and do it. And then you're watching, for example, you know, what you're doing, what Ellie might be doing. Sarah, hi, Sarah. You know, you, you have to play off each other. And I'm sure we'll be, you know, getting after each other like, hey, hey, Bob, come on, what are you doing? Come on, get up, 4.30, don't sleep in today. So, but that's gonna be the fun part. That's, that's the camaraderie of this, of this group. I think this is gonna be a riot. And I think for those that miss out, it's okay. There's always the people that are the early adopters that'll jump in and there's gonna be a bunch yeah. that kind of kick back and say, well, I'm busy this summer, but I'll watch and see what's happening. My hope is, is that we're going to have such a great time that everybody who didn't participate the first time, they're going to be kicking themselves okay, that they weren't part of it because they're missing out. That FOMO happens. Yep. And I think the next yep. group might even be twice as big. But that's if we. Well, I think I, that's that's what you and I've talked about and Heather and Sean, that this mm -hmm. is kind of the trial balloon. See what happens. And, and we might do it every quarter. Who knows? It's not up to me. It's up to the committee. But this could be something that just keeps growing by quarter. Um, we're very fortunate this time because we have such a connection with so many things lining up with the shred coming up. It's 4th of July weekend. It's summer. It's a new program. And guess what? 25 days is almost 30. So if I want to invite somebody to the ER shred and we can do this a little bit more next time, Hey, we have a fun thing going on. We have a 25 day challenge. Come join us. You can be an isogenics person for the product. 30 day money back guarantee. Come on, really? You can't do something for 11 days or 25 days, then you're not serious. But guess what? If it doesn't work for you, Dr. Jenks will give you your money back. Is that true, Bob? I think that's, that's true. That is true. For within the first 30 days. Yep. Yep. On any product. Yep. So, so even if you're in month two and you never ordered some whatever product and you decided you didn't like it, they'll honor that. It's just, it's yeah. just that I mean, I'm not worried about that. I mean, I, I'm not either, but I'm, I just I think that it it just eliminates. And I think this is. I think one of my things that I had to learn about myself as a salesperson, I was a money manager, stockbroker, but I'm still selling investments. I'm selling. Concepts, no, you're a salesperson. Right? Bob. You're a salesperson. You're a salesperson. I was. Yes, I is yes. that um, it was understanding that I had to provide a value but it wasn't up to me to, to own the outcome. In other words, um, if someone says no to what we have, that's totally okay, but it's nothing on us. Cause you got to understand if you've got the science, you've got the community, you've got the results and you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. If they say no to that, they're just not ready yet. That's all it means. And so exactly. love on them, exactly. bless them, release them, and don't burn bridges or don't try to fight for your cause that they got to come in and, oh, no, you got to do this because the right people will always come back. And it's rare that someone just says, sign me up. Here's throws a credit card at you and says, I'm in. It happens. It's yeah. very, very yeah. rare. Most people are, I'll come into the air shred group and I might hang out for 30, 60, 90 days, four months, six months before I say mm -hmm. yes. Then they say yes. I'm like, oh, what did I wait for? But again, um, it's meeting that person when they are of the right mindset to say yes. And that's what I love about right. our community. I mean, I think we don't put any pressure on people and we allow people to be who they are and we celebrate their success and there's no judgment. And I think that's, that's everybody deserves credit for that because we're only as strong as the least of us in the group or the newest person in the group. They used to say the weakest link. That's kind of a terrible thing to say, but <laughs> we're only as strong as the newest person that comes into our community in that if we continue building the culture that we are one person at a time and they buy into, I want to live the best life. Now we're in a situation that, you know, not only will this culture sustain itself, but I think it'll grow and continue to impact the people. Well, I think I, I fully agree. I think the other thing with this 25 day program and only through personal experience and I had isogenics before this was the 11 day protocol is so powerful. It, it, to me, it was the most life changing 11 days of my life. And I don't mean that very uh, you know, flippantly. I, I mean it that after 11 days, it wasn't the weight loss. 
It was how I felt about myself and how I felt about life and my excitement level and my energy level. But then I started learning. Then I started really lifting the posts and digging into the guides and talking with you more, Michael, and Sarah and I talk a lot online. And so I started learning more about the program and why I was feeling this way. So I think if people do take this on, and you're an amazing coach, Bob, and what you did with Manaz and other friends, but you, you feel like you're getting into this mud bath and you get in slowly and you start sinking in and it starts to click. And then all of a sudden it's, wow, this is amazing. And then I figure out more of the education, the learning, the science, how my body feels, and then I'm a lifer. Uh, this I'm not going to change. This is something I want to do and I will do the rest of my life. But it's a, it's a progress and it's a learning process. So 11, the 25 days, I think, will get people supercharged for 11 days. Oh. Oh, did we lose you? Nope. I probably lost me, but not <laughs> audio. <laughs> your, your audio is here. Can you hear me, Bob? I can hear you, yep. yes. I, I think I, yeah, my computer just went out. I didn't realize I was low, in, low on my... Well, you know what? We're lucky in that you called. Obviously, you did the audio differently. Did you call in? I did. So I'm wow. still here. That, Is my that, face still showing? <laughs> no, but no, but the fact that you had the foresight to call in, obviously, somewhere in your body, you intuitively realized, <laughs> hey, this computer's low on battery, and I'm not going to well, lose the connection. Yeah. That's great. Well, I'm sorry yeah. I don't see your well, face. Funny. Um, well, do you okay. mind taking a few questions? Sarah O'Bannon has a question for you. Do you mind taking it? Oh, great. No, please not, go ahead. not a question. I actually wanted to make a point. So one of the things, this is going to give you the opportunity. So one thing I do, anybody knows from my posts, I do something called just a mile a day. I update on my personal page often on that my little victories, what I'm doing. Like I started a weight program uh, with them, which is jam the excuses this week. It's like a 10 minute weight workout. So it gives mm. me mm -hmm. those things like you doing you, your challenge is going to give you an opportunity to talk more up with the people that follow you just beyond the protocol. It's also going to help you attract more people than are just weight loss. Because now you might have somebody right. who's thinking, wow, I've got a race. I thought I knew how to eat right, but I'm looking at what Tony's doing. And I like how he's got a plan and he's got this and he's combining it with eating. I may need to know more about it. So you're opening yourself up to more of a marketplace, plus you're giving your self a chance for more good social media interactions um and it's all levels too yeah. i mean you know me i mean i encourage people from the get-go i'm coming back from covid but you know i've got a, one of my goals is to get back on the track and do a speed workout in july so that's one of the things on the hopper also upping the weight program mm -hmm. maybe do a hit so, class. so tony yeah. I, I do want to i do want to ask you because you've shared this with me in the past but one of the most amazing things yeah, about our community is watching the journey of others. Um, is there anybody in particular in the group? I mean, you've mentioned their names before because um, it doesn't matter where you're coming from, but I get so much motivation from a Kathy Martinez or a Mimi or there's just so many stories yeah. where um, it's just fascinating to watch people come alive, but then literally become different people as they start taking on themselves and getting active and so on um you've seen Very that much group. So. It, oh well i mean i i follow sarah every day i i follow don every day uh, kathy uh her mountain climb a month month and a half ago was just you know uh you had to cry for her and her her thrill she's running every morning she's trying to get up to a 10k in the next few weeks um karen calvert uh adore her you know, she's on a very special journey. She had a foot issue in the very beginning, but, you know, this program worked for her and she pushed through the injury and uh, the pictures of her and her smile light up versus the, the beginning uh, photos. We started about the same time, probably March of this year. Um, you know, Jesse, of course, uh, every day with his little boy, 
it's so fun to see and yourself, Bob. So yeah, I mean, you can name the stories and that's what makes this, this, this special because it's not, oh, that guy or, or the, that girl who I think lives in Florida. It, you know them by the last name, their first name, their dog's name, mm-hmm. the kids, when their birthday was, you know, and that's, you know, it becomes family. That's awesome. Um, we're at the top of the hour. Tony, any last thoughts? Other than Come sign up. When, 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 is, when, is the, when, when is the cutoff for this? Well, there really won't be a cutoff. Uh, you can sign up through the 4th or 5th of July. Uh, the okay. later you sign up, the less chance to get points. But we'll, uh, we'll keep signing up through, uh, through July. So let's go from the 4th, uh, 25 days out. And uh, we have a small team that will uh, add up the numbers and give out some free shred gear at the very end of this. Excellent. And I think Heather, whatever, I've seen your posts, we'll, we'll follow it. I know you're right now, I guess we're just been commenting on the posts if we want to get in. Yeah. The How post, are you tracking I, that? I, uh, uh, Heather has a list. So Heather has volunteered okay. to look at everybody's uh, say yes, or I'm in, I want to be part of it. So far, I had the poster flyer put out a few days ago. Yesterday, I put out a little video of some of the points. And then tomorrow, I'll put out another flyer that has a little bit more of the details so people can, can refer to it and copy it. Uh, I think Heather's putting something up on the site where it's a um, kind of a static flyer to give you all the information you need. And again, people know that they can either message me or message Heather to join in. Excellent. Well, Tony, I first of all, thank you for coming on tonight. And thank you for what for everything you've done within the community. And of course, for this upcoming challenge, You've got us all jacked up and very excited. And uh, this is going to take us next level. I'm that confident. Having a challenge, a fun challenge, a community challenge, that's just going to get us up and moving. And um, we're obviously, a lot of us, you're going to push us to become better people. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And, it's uh, pushing everybody. So it's, uh, that was just a dream I had. And it was uh, really a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's a, okay, I it's a wonderful that. dream so. and it's a win-win for everybody so thank you so much so. and guys you're if you're um thinking on the business side because i know it's a business call i talk more about mindset more than maybe this the, the blocking and tackling which can get quite boring but if you want the blocking and tackling aspect of that please join and or go to our website it's ershred.biz ershred.biz It'll give you the initial, your story, how to share your story, becoming a consultant, becoming a manager, and at least getting you moving in the right direction. Um, It's really, that's all the really the business is. The business is going out there and sharing your experience with others that are like-minded and inviting them to take a look. That's the entire business. It's not any more complicated than that. And if you get people an amazing result, or more importantly, if you exceed what they think is the value, so under promise, overperform. If you overperform, not only are they going to be more excited to stick, but they're more likely to share it with others because they discovered something that's unique, different, that literally delivers. And I think that's what we have here. So guys, happy June 30th. I think this is the last day. Happy July 4th weekend. And we will see you next Thursday. And Tony, again, thank you. And we'll look forward to your posts all weekend long. Thank Good you, night, guys. Thanks for having me on. Thank you, Tony. All the best to you both. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody. Good Bye-bye. To you. Good night, job, everyone. Tony. Night. Good night.